Let's get on with some news. Greetings my excellent friends and welcome to Daily Scuba News. I hope that you're all well and that you had a fantastic, a truly fantastic weekend. Anyway, scientists around the world have started doing research on a thing called coastal darkening. And from the early results, we need to actually start thinking about how this is going to affect our oceans for you know, future generations. So this new research found out that our oceans are getting darker, which not only changes the color of the waters, but also the clarity. Uh, and this has the potential to cause huge problems in the future. Some of the causes of ocean darkening are well understood, like fertilizer entering the water, or when a boat stirs up silt, that's known and blocks out the light, that's also known as ocean darkening. But there are other causes that have scientists really, really worried. So the main focus is on heavy rainwater, organic matter from decaying plants and loose soil entering our oceans due to a pour down, which creates a light blocking slurry. This process is well known in rivers and lakes, but not so much when it comes to our oceans. In this study, researchers filled huge metal vats with water, photoplankton and silt. From peats, the team extracted a brown liquid as an approximation of the dissolved organic matter found in coastal waters. So with this liquid, they put it in low, medium and high concentrations in the vats, obviously, and hung a lamp over them to, you know, to mimic basically the sun rays. They left these vats for a few weeks um, just to see the effects. And obviously at times they measured they measured, sorry, the decrease of light's ability to penetrate the water. So all in all, the low vat decreased by 27% in visibility, the medium uh, vat decreased by 62% in visibility, and the high vat decreased by 86% uh, of visibility. The photo planting, of course, that was in all the vats, all suffered due to the darkness. The researchers also found out not only did the photoplankton drop, but the darkness favored other organic materials in the water. The main worry is that photoplankton is the base group or the foundation of the ocean's food chain. So if this is affected, this will have a knock-on effect for other life in our oceans. Meaning that given more time and more waste going into our waters, this will start to affect the whole ocean food chain, uh, which only spells disaster. Of course, at first it's gonna be locally, but you know, over time, it will, or it has the potential of really going global in our oceans. All in all, it's difficult to pin down any specific consequences of coastal darkening. The darkening of the water will favor other species. It might even help prey hide from their predators. But like I said, it could lead to the whole ocean ecosystem changing. Of course, that's gonna take time, but it could easily happen. First off in a localization, and then on a global scale. But at least now we can start tracking and monitoring this process. But what do you think about coastal darkening? Is it real? Should we really be worried about it? Let's have a chinwag about it in the comments below. And that's it for today. Don't forget to get your questions in for Rsmart. Just add the hashtag Rsmart with your questions so we can find it and add it to the show. Talking about uh, our smart, just slightly going off the script. If you're watching this on Instagram, in our stories, I've just released a poll um, to see whether you guys and girls want our smart to actually feature on Instagram as well. So if you do us a solid, go vote on there because um, it's only up for like 24 hours or whatever. So go vote for it up on there. So then again, if that wins, we can start putting our Q&A section live on Instagram as well, which, you know, I, th I think it'll work really, really well, but it all depends on the vote. You can, of course, watch Daily Scuba News on YouTube and now earlier on Instagram. And it's also available as a podcast wherever you listen to your podcasts. Um, and wherever you do listen to your podcasts, if there is a follow button, there's a solid, hit that. And also as well, if there's a like button or something, if you like the episode, just hit that as well. That would be amazing. To our Instagram family, don't forget to heart the video and maybe do us a solid and share it in your stories. And to our YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button, share the story with your diving buddies, and of course, if you haven't already, you gotta smash that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and as always, stay classy scuba divers. That'll do, pig. That'll do.